Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be making a much requested video from our subscribers which is how to make CBD lotion. That's right, liquid pumpable lotion that you can use at home. But first, before we get into today's video, if you wouldn't mind, please hit that subscribe button if you are new here to the channel. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. And if you wouldn't mind, please give the video a big thumbs up. So folks, today we're going to be making our CBD hand lotion. And first and foremost, the one ingredient that we did make here on the farm is our hemp keef. Uh, you can find this on our website, pricing and everything, and you can make an order. This lotion will be available on our website, uh, so go ahead and check out the pricing. If you just don't want to bother making it, you can purchase it from us. So just visit our website and all our prices are there. And I do appreciate all the support from, from all you subscribers that are watching this video. Um, I appreciate all the support that we've gotten, so thank you very much. Let's dive into what you're going to need to make CBD hand lotion at home. Okay folks, you are going to need a lot of things for this. Uh, so let's get started with, you will need an immersion blender or a stick blender of some sort for this recipe. Uh, you could use a real blender, uh, but I don't recommend it. You're going to need some sort of container to put the lotion in. Here we have a pumpable container. You're going to need some sort of spatula or just, you know, a mixing device. You're going to need distilled water shea butter, emulsifying wax, vegetable glycerin, which you really can't see in the bowl here, and avocado oil, along with a preservative of your choice. And you can just Google which preservative you think would work best for you. Um, this is what we have here. And of course, our hemp keef. The other thing you're going to need is a large pan, and I'll bring it over here. You're going to fill the pan with water, and you're going to have two separate bowls inside the pan, and we'll get to that shortly. So these are all the ingredients that are required to make this CBD hand lotion. It is a lot, and like I said, folks, if you don't want to bother with it, you can visit our website and purchase the CBD lotion. So folks, let's get this party started, and let's get into making our CBD hand lotion. Okay, folks, now as you can see, the big pan here is filled with water. We have two separate pots. We're going to go ahead and turn this on to medium-low temperature. And first, we're going to start doing our uh, oils. So we're going to go ahead and add the emulsifying wax, our avocado oil. Now, this isn't measured by fluid ounce or anything. This is measured by grams, and I'll leave that exact recipe in the description below. And we're going to get our shea butter. Now that's going to have to get brought up to temperature. Now meanwhile, there's two things I want, to, you want you to consider now. We're going to put our water in, in this other pot here. Now this is distilled water. Okay. Now... The great thing about having vegetable glycerin in this recipe and why it's so important is because the hemp keef goes into the vegetable glycerin and this is how it dissolves and get in, gets into the lotion. So I'm going to bring you back over uh, while this is heating up and we're going to start dissolving our hemp keef in the vegetable glycerin. Alright folks, so now that we have all the hemp keef dissolved in the vegetable glycerin, I want to show you kind of what it looks like before we go ahead and put it in the water. Uh, and it's really like a nice thick pasty no clumps or anything like that You really want it to be nice and uh, thinned out and that is uh, Ideal for when we're making the lotion. So now we're gonna go over and add it to the water part of the lotion Our keef is nice and dissolved. We're just gonna add it to the water bowl here the one with all the water in it. don't add it to the oil add it to the water And you want to make sure you're getting all of that keef in there because this stuff is expensive and it really brings up your CBD content for the actual lotion. So we get all of that as much as we can and go ahead and start mixing that around a little bit. Now you can see it's separating from the glycerin a little bit. Don't worry about that. 
that is perfectly normal. Um, and once we get the oil in it, well, you won't even notice. It does like to separate once it's in the water, uh, but not by a lot. I mean, you can still see that it's fairly dissolved. So now we're going to wait for everything to get up to temperature, and then we're going to start mixing stuff around. So I'll see you in approximately 20 minutes. Okay, folks, everything is melted down and at the same temperature. And again, this is important. It has to be the same temperature. So what you can do now is you can put the oil with the water or the water with the oil. Uh, this is going to be the pot, so to speak, or the container that you're going to emulsify everything in. So make sure that it's the larger of the two containers. And we're going to go ahead and just add that now. And as you can see, it became a very white, creamy type of lotion look to it. And that is perfect for what we need. Now, we want to make sure that that keef gets in there. So we'll be adding, making sure. Sometimes it likes to stick to the side. So make sure you get that keef off the side. That is important for your CBT content of this lotion. All right, so now we're gonna wait about two to three minutes while this uh, sits in the same temperature bath. It isn't required, um, but this is something I like to do. And as you can see, the key floating up here, we're gonna mix it around. So I'm gonna give it about five minutes and then we're gonna be right back. All right, folks, it's time to take this off the heat, bring it over here to cool down. We're gonna get rid of this uh, pan of hot water and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and start immersion blendering everything, getting it started to get mixed up as it starts to cool. Uh, so this is key. All right, folks, it's been off the heat for about three to four minutes. And now what we're going to do is we're going to emulsify. And this takes a little bit of time. So you're just going to go ahead and mix it. And you don't want to get a lot of air in it, so don't don't bring it up and down like that too much. Just I do it in the very beginning because sometimes some of the oil tries separating to the top, so I like to bring it down. But right now we're just going to mix it, and uh, you're going to do this on and off for approximately 10 minutes. So it's going to be a while, but you don't have to do it continuously. You can go ahead and take a break and jump back into it, but you're going to want to mix it for quite a while and get it nice and mixed up. So I'll see you folks in probably about 10 minutes. All right, folks, so we've been mixing for about 10 minutes and you can see it's nice and thickened up now. I'm gonna turn it on for you real quick. And you can see that it's getting nice and thick now. It's starting to look like that, you know, typical lotion look to it. You don't see the, the, uh, the hemp keef any longer. It's all mixed in. And so now you're going to have to wait another 10 minutes while this cools off. And while we're waiting, I want you to go gather uh, your preservative of your choice. Again, folks, you got to go out and research which preservative you're comfortable with. There is a lot of them out there. Um, this is the one that we went with, uh, but you don't have to use that one. But you have to use a preservative because of the amount of water that's in this. Um, you can also uh, grab some vitamin E. You can add that. That is not required for the recipe. And along with some essential oils, if you like essential oils in your lotion. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all that stuff together, and I'll see you back in 10 minutes. All right, folks. It's been about 10 minutes, and we've measured out our preservative. And now, as you can see, the lotion is exactly what you would think of as a lotion. Very nice, it's cooled off. And we'll get some of this lotion off of the, the emulsion blender here. Um, yeah, it looks awesome. And so now is the time you wanna get everything going. So this is what it looks like, nice and fluffy. Just a typical lotion. Now there's a lot of ways uh, you can get this back into a bottle. Uh, for, for the most part, we're gonna just, uh, put it into that pumpable lotion. Um, but right now we're gonna add our essential oils. And uh, I'm gonna do about, about 10 drops of vitamin E. About 
seven drops of lavender. I don't like a strong essential oil, so it's not for me. Um, you can add as much as you want. Then we're going to do four grams of preservative. Um, and this is really to extend the shelf life of this. Because it's water-based, you can't just get away with not having a preservative. You've got to have one. All right. So now, this is all out of there. Throw that away. And so now we're just going to mix it all around. And now you can see that lotion is getting that just nice liquid uh, look to it. And it smells absolutely wonderful. And so now what you can do is get ready to put it in uh, your container of choice. Now for us, I like to put it in the pumpable bottle. Uh, but you can put it in a mason jar. But the reason I like the pumpable bottle is because it's contained and you're not constantly putting your hands in it. Because it requires a preservative and because it's water-based, you don't want to be adding bacteria to it. Eventually that preservative won't be able to keep up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add it to the bottle. Um, and a trick to that is you go ahead and you can get a plastic bag and you put the lotion in it, cut the corner, and you can fill it that way. You can have like a pastry funnel and you can do it that way. There's a bunch of different ways. And one of the easiest ways, of course, is uh, the mason jar, but you know, the mason jar again, you're putting your hand in it constantly. Well, folks, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, like this recipe. Um, I mean, just look at how awesome this lotion is. It smells absolutely wonderful. You cannot smell the hemp in it at all because we use hemp keef, uh, you can't smell it. It is absolutely awesome. It's wonderful. It smells like lavender. And again, you can add more lavender if you choose, or you can add any essential oil that you want. I like lavender, but I don't like a lot of it. Um, but it is awesome. It smells like a lotion you buy at the store. And again, it's CBD. So this is good for joint pain or anything that you think that CBD can work for. Uh, you know, I'm not going to give any recommendations of what it can cure or anything. You can do your research online. Um, but yeah, this will be available um, as requested on our website. So uh, go ahead and reach out to me. Again, the Hemp Keef is also available. And uh, we'll be getting that out soon. <laughs> so go ahead and visit our website, folks. But that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it works out for you. And Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you in another video.